Students, I come again with Riemann integration part 3. Integrality test of an example function defined by root over 1 minus x square x belongs to q 1 minus x x belongs to r minus q. This is for x is irrational number and this is x for irrational number. To show that integration 0 to 1 fx dx does not exist in the Riemann sense. That is, f does not belong to R A B. As we have discussed in Riemann integration part 1, our scheme is to establish the problem is f i p s l u r fifth slur. We go in this sequence and I can obtain the solution of the problem very easily. What is f i part? f i means function and integration. Here the function is very well defined on the interval 0 and 1. And the function is bounded on 0, 1. Function is bounded on 0, 1. P, P is the partition of 0, 1 into n sub intervals by means of partition points xi where xi r is 0, x1, x2, x3, xr minus 1, xr and xn equal to 1. We denote set of all partitions, set of all partitions into n sub intervals of 0, 1 by script p 0 1 then comes for s s is the sub interval part i mentioned in the uh, in part 1 i r i am denoting i bar is equal to the i sub interval x r minus 1 x r mod i r equal to the length of the i sub interval x r minus x r minus 1 and norm p is equal to maximum of these IRs, that is the maximum of this length sub interval, we are calling it as norm of P. Now, L part. To find the L part, the lower part, I define a function HX, 1 minus X for all X belongs to 0 and 1, that is 1 minus X function. And we see that this is a polynomial function and HX is bounded and continuous in the closed interval 0 and 1. This very clearly can be shown. For 0 less than x less than 1, we have this inequality. The value of the function 1 minus x is less than the value of the function 1 root over 1 minus x is less than root over 1 minus x. So with this inequality we see that now this is the lower value in any interval and this is the upper value in any interval containing in between 0 and 1. So if we define this LPA, the lower sum, then lower sum actually reduces to LPH, that is this function, LPH, for all partition P belongs to 0, 1, belongs to 0, 1. Now we can define the lower integral, I, equal to integration 0 to 1, lower integration fx dx, so this is actually in, uh, supremum of all, all uh, LPFs, that is equal to equal to integration 0 to 1 h dx h dx and this is equal to integration 0 to 1 1 minus x dx that is equal to equal to equal to half because this h is now in the interval 0 to 1 so its lower integral is equal to the integral as h belongs to r 0 1 that is i h is remain integral we define the upper part for upper part, I have defined a function gx equal to root over 1 minus x. With this inequality, I can say this is the maximum value at any sub interval containing in between 0 and 1. So, we can see that in, in, in between 0 and 1, gx is bounded and continuous on this. So, upf, upf, the maximum value, the upper sum, it reduces to upg for the corresponding to this function g for all p belongs to 0 1 whatever partition you take then up will be converted to ugx as this gives the maximum value of the function in any sub interval between 0 and 1 so we have defined the upper integral integration 0 to 1 fx dx equal to integration 0 to 1 gx dx again gx is a bounded and continuous function and hence it is Riemann integral 
and hence H, A, H belongs to RAB, A, G belongs to RAB, is Riemann integrable, so I can find the Riemann integration, integration, integration 0 to 1 upper bar, this can be considered as integration 0 to 1 root over 1 minus x, since the integration exists, upper integral equal to lower integral equal to the integration 0 to 1 root over 1 minus x square, and this is the standard form integration, that is x into root over 1 minus x square by 2 plus a square by 2, 1 by 2 sin inverse x. If we take the limit 0 to 1, the answer will get pi by 4. What is the r part? This r part that is the Riemann integrability as i not equal to j, this is half and this is pi by 4, f does not belong to r01, that is f is not Riemann integrable. So we have finished the solution of this example that f is not Riemann integrable. Thank you.